back to another day in the life of a reseller vlog. As you can see, today is Marissa's birthday. Happy birthday, Marissa. I hope you have a good one. Uh, got another vlog up this morning. Uh, that's up on my channel now. I've been in the photo station kind of looking for what I'm going to list today. I've got a couple more Hot Wheels to list, and then i got to get in that photo station and decide what to list. I do have some stuff laid out there. But first, let's take a look and see what sold overnight. Yep, we still got the H2 Hummer and the 67 Chevelle ready to be listed this morning. Looks like we did have two sales for $34.79 overnight. So $34.79 for two sales. Let's take a look and see what sold. First item sold for $9.80. It's a Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin Sony PlayStation 2. Box and manual only, no disc. So no disc in this one, just for the box and manual. So hopefully the buyer read that the disc is not included in that purchase. I did list a bunch of boxes like that and I've had some confusion of uh, whether or not uh, the game, they didn't know the game was not included type of uh, comments. You know, they go ahead and buy it just based on the cover of the photo without reading the listing. So I'm not sure if I will do that again in the future, list those boxes, but they are up there and they are selling, so uh, hopefully this one sticks and they actually read the listing. Second item that sold was this, sold for $24.99. It's a brand new first tactical polo shirt, green, short sleeve, men's large, polyester. So that first tactical brand is kind of a brand that a lot of uh, security companies use for, to, uh, um, to dress their employees. Kind of buy them, and uh, they use them as uniforms, you know, to, uh, to wear. Yeah, that high end is a little bit of more of a durable, uh, high quality brand, some better fabrics. With a, Sometimes they have little pockets in the sleeves and whatnot, so look out for that. A lot of companies have uh, adopted using that for their uniforms, so they do sell quite so well. I'm going to eat this lunch and then drink this. What do we got? Cherry Limeade today. Cherry Limeade, Waterloo. An apple and a couple sandwiches, and then we're going to get to packing those orders. All right, through the magic of video, there they appear. That first tactical polo and the Dark Souls 2 video game. All right, here comes that shipping label. Let's get it on those packages and get them ready for the post office. All right, two orders for the tote, and one and two. All right, I'm in the photo station. I've got a bunch of stuff laid out here, getting ready to get it photographed and listed. I think I, what I might try to do is run a few auctions this time. I usually don't run auctions very often, but maybe I'll try to get rid of some of this stuff faster and run some seven-day auctions on it. I'm not sure which ones I'll do that on, but let me show some of this to you. So I had this tote from a storage unit just full of stuff that I had planned to get listed. Some of it was toys. There's these little toys. I kind of separated these into five little stacks. We have uh, kind of some action figure toys right there. One baseball guy and that. These are coming to some smaller ones with a turtle and an elephant. And uh, more action figures and more action figures. This is kind of more of a girl's type lot with a little Pez dispenser, a girl action figure, and a couple of animals. These were in the unit as well, a storage unit. These are just the brand new, uh, I think they came from the dollar store or something like that. Uh, special moments, wall art, they call it. So I'm going to put these three of uh, the girl together and then uh, these two. This one is kind of cool. It says. You are exactly where you need to be with kind of a sunset theme. And then this one is a more of a floral look to it. You have this vintage Barbie. I don't know much about Barbie, but uh, vintage Barbie here. Not year, sure what year it was. I'll have to take a little closer look to it. Um, then here we have this internet password logbook, a couple prayer books, and some sort of drawing game or something like that. There's a Christmas uh, DVD over there. I was meaning to list that this Christmas, but I didn't get around to it. And then up here, let's see, we got uh, these little toys. I may have showed this stuff in a video before, but uh, this little monkey guy. And then similar thing, but uh, you press this and that spins off of there, I guess. Uh, we have these tiny little K-Swiss shoes. We could list those up. These little dinosaurs, look at these. This little dinosaur, and this guy is sitting on the egg, coming out of the egg. Little dinosaur. I think I picked these up at a garage sale not too long ago. Well, probably three years ago now. But um, 
paid a dollar each for them, so we're just looking to flip them and make a few bucks. We got uh, Robin here, um, little action figure, another little action figure. I could do these as an auction, probably put them up for a few bucks. Now these might actually have some value. These are the race cars that you put on a track. Um, I'll have to look those up and see what they're going for. We have the three cars, and then these are the tops. These are just empty tops that go on top of them. I might list these th four separately and then these three together. Then up here we still have the last of the junk drawer lot stuff, the pipes, some action toys, the U.S. medals here, pins, I guess they are. Vintage pins, and then this is kind of metals. Yeah, vintage metals. This was kind of a coaster set. A little piglet on there. I think there's three of them here. Piglet and Pooh and Eeyore. So now that I got some bubble wrap, we could put those uh, together in a, a lot. I'm not sure if that will go in one of these big boxes, the breakable. I guess those are pretty breakable, little ceramic coasters. And uh, over here we got a few more toys. This is the last of those boxes that I have. A mug. This is a little teddy bear um, coin bank. It's quite heavy actually, but um, it, I think it's worth quite a bit of money. You put your coins in there, I think. That's how it works. But uh, And then uh, this is an ornament of some sort. A little skating ornament. And I've shown this guy off quite a bit. I picked him up at the Valley Village the other day. His light, eyes light up. He was on the shelf looking for a new home. So he's the last of... Uh, this four is the last of all those boxes that I put together. But um, let me show you these last toys over here. I was thinking I'm going to put these together in two different lots. The, the horses together and then the, the lion and the cheetah. I think a cheetah. So we got the cheetah here, and then the big lion. The lion. People do buy these plastic toys. They like them for the kids. So uh, that's what I'm going to work on getting photographed. Not sure what I'm going to photograph first, but we'll get some of it done. So I think the plan is just to photograph 10 items from that. Um, just grab them at random, whatever calls to me, and uh, chip away at all this stuff and get it listed eating what I don't list today which is what is today's Friday I'll probably work on this weekend uh, maybe add some more shoes to the mix I think I got space for a couple per pair of shoes so uh, that could be added to the lot here and um, just work a little work away at it a little bit each day until I get it all on my... alright I've got a little bit of a better plan of attack now that I showed you everything I got 15 items laid out here this is what I'm gonna focus on getting photographed and listed uh, let me show you I have this pair of boots from the garage I'm gonna photograph those and make this part of it and then we have all these lots here what do we got one two three four five six seven there and then up here we got uh, one two three four five six seven so uh, 15 total that's what we're going to work on getting photographed and listed all right i got all those photos taken i ended up doing a few more listings than i had planned actually i just grabbed a few more items and just got it all photographed so now i have it sitting here ready to go let me show you all lined up here on the floor ready for me to list time for me to get into list mode and make it happen get some of this stuff online um just gonna grab one at a time and get it on there chip away at it. Like I said before, I think I'm going to try some of these uh, toys as auctions. You know, run them as cheap uh, auctions that can sell quickly. And if they don't sell, I'll just uh, relist them into the store as a fixed price listing. But at least get it in front of some more eyeballs. A lot of people search auctions. And it might get some more um, eyeballs into my store on my other stuff as well. So that's kind of one way you can um, combat slow sales is to run a few auctions and uh, people will come into the store and hopefully buy some bigger higher priced items so we're gonna put these toys up you know if there's a lot of four we're gonna try to do them on, you know like at 397 or something like that give it to them at a bargain a dollar a toy or something hopefully some people will jump on that deal and uh, purchase those all right, it's about a little after 8 o'clock now. I'm making some progress with these listings. I think I got about 10 listings up on, into my big store. And, but we just had another order come in. I thought I'd give you guys a look at it. Let's take a look. You can see those orders are stacking up. 
I mean new listings rather. Those are all new listings going into the store. Here's a look at it. This item sold for $50.87. It's a Forever 21 animal print beige jacket coat woman's acrylic and polyester size large. So they sent me a message about that jacket asking me if it could get it there by a certain date. And uh, I told them, yeah, it's going priority two to three days usually it takes. And uh, so they bought it right away. Didn't ask any questions. Um, so I'm going to go grab that one. We'll get a shipping label on it and drop it off at the post office tomorrow to make sure it gets to them in time. Alright, we got another one for the tote. Let's add it in. Alright, sales have been light, but let's add another one. A pretty good uh, sale there, over $50 for that one. Alright, so I just realized we haven't checked out the small store yet today, so I think I'm going to log into the small store, see if anything's sold, and let you guys know about All it. Alright, good news. We had two orders for $36.83. Let's see what's sold. First item to sell was this, sold for $15.12. It's, it's an unbranded Halloween costume cat face hat with a red tail, red, white, blue, and floral. Here you can see that cute little tail sticks out the back there. Second item that sold, sold for $21.71. It's a large Orvis beige short sleeve men's polyester two pocket men's dress shirt. Alright, two orders for $36 and some change out of the small store. So I think I'm going to go grab those from inventory and we'll get those packed up and ready for the customer as well. Alright, two more orders for the hat. There's, I mean for the tote, there's the hat, the Halloween hat and the Orvis shirt. So let's get some labels on them, get them ready to ship out. Alright, two more for the tote and a one and a two. So it's about 8.30 Friday night. Uh, I think I'm going to call an end to the vlog and have something to eat and maybe list a few more of these items. But I want to thank everybody for watching this one to the very end, helping me get a little closer to that 4,000 hours. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I'm trying to get my subscriber count up. Uh, I think I'm at 298 holding steady. Um, I haven't had many uh, join lately, but uh, if you if you could hit that subscription button, ring that notification bell, that way you'll become notified of all the latest videos when they drop. I do the daily vlog, but I also do other videos, so if you hit that notification uh, bell, you won't miss out on any of it. So uh, consider doing that, and uh, come on back for the next one. We'll have another vlog dropping in the morning, every morning, so uh, come on back, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.